Hello and welcome, I hope you're having a great day or evening, and it might even get better, because today we are playing Wantless. A semi -rogue light, um tactical turn-based RPG, in which we are playing Ares, stuck on a ship, or not stuck, because we can travel from town to town, clearing negative emotions from our patients, so this is why we have here couple of patients we will do that in a minute but also in the game we can create our own skills equip Ares with different uh, trench coats even pick the skin how she will look I mean this one kind of looks depressing this definitely is not a happy face and uh, yeah well let's just go with this one with the pointy one um, equip also a punching glove, a couple of trinkets, and we also have here a large talent tree, a mind tree, where we can get different upgrades, um, skills, unlock additional trinket slots, and so on. So before I go too deep into the material, let's just start one round. This is called a transposition. Here we have the patient with the items we could gain. As you can see, choose one. This I will explain in a second. What we can get is different gloves, equipment, trinkets, also synapses for, as mentioned, the skill crafter. Anyway, let's just pick the angry little one with the pink ponytails. And we start off with our transposition. In this transposition, we are in a grid-based field, in a grid-based battlefield and okay here we have information memory preservation requests okay yeah it just tells us the objective of the whole goal so preserve five memories we will see that in a second but I mentioned the rewards we could pick choose one was the title above it meaning if we explore this explore deeper depth one meaning we will get insight. So we could choose one more patient reward, but we won't do that because it is, first of all, dangerous and difficult, and second of all, it would take too long. So in these transpositions, we will face off against color, for example. These are strangely designed mobs. I mean, I actually love the artwork. And here we have Emptiness Engine. I mean, Emptiness, we all know that feed. Well, sorry, no. Anyway, we will have to do, as I mentioned, the objectives. These are memories. These are pure positive memories we need to preserve, meaning we need to walk up to them, click on them. And here we also have the information on Interact cleanses temporary negative effects. So we could either use them to just fulfill the objective kill all the mobs right here or we could use them during the fight anyway at first we have a concealment effect meaning the color the emptiness engines every enemy in the uh, on the battlefield isn't aware of us meaning until we do five until we use five action points they won't see us, won't attack us. And in Wantless, the unique, the unique style of the combat system is that all the action points we use, the enemies gain as well. As you can see, three bars on top of the color life bars. On the color's life bar, Jesus, it's early. So when we move here, everyone gets plus one. So I will finish my turn because I still want to be concealed. And hopefully they don't move close to me because as you might have guessed once we step on these eyes we aren't concealed anymore as you can see in the top right corner anyway what i want to do or what we have to do is kill these mobs i mean you might have guessed it anyway so we have different skills to use for that and i will use the grasp horror missile it will do an affliction that might be a bit too compli com Jesus. complicated to start off with 
the explanation for afflictions, but it will just deal the damage. And as you can see, it will show how much damage he will do on the mobs, as well as how much life they might have left, because it is a range of damage. So when I hit it right here, also I will hit the Gloomy Impulsive, which deals grief damage. It's one of the three damage types. The purple one, or yeah, purple, is the fear damage hitting here. Since this exploded, the collar right here was also killed, which was quite a powerful move. Anyway, we received another memory we could pick up, which I will do, because this one grants me one awareness point. These awareness points are here, used to enhance, when I press Q, it enhances the damage of the spells, as you can see. But since we don't need to, we can just use the punch, which is from the equipment we have, the, the gloves. Kill him. Perfect. Then I can move. I will move here. And I only have two action points left. Doesn't seem like I can kill. I can kill him. That's fine. And I will also use this dash because as you can see the effects dash in target direction and also blocks up to 800 damage from the next hit. So the moment he will walk to us and wants to hit us, or he does, or he tries to, at least they didn't have enough action points to actually hit me. Anyway, as you can see the red area here will be the burning rage he will do as well as he will do. So I will move out, the, out of the way with another dash ability. So here I'm safe and can start killing them. Perfect. The moment I clear a room or we clear a room, we have as, a, as in a typical roguelite manner, the option to pick one of three upgrades for the next room. So intoxicate, I will use this one. And since the objective is to preserve memories, let's pick them here. Is there another one? Yes, here we have another one. Oh, also a randomly appearing trader. Not, not a trader, a tradesman <clears throat> shows up. And we could use the uh, awareness points to buy something from him. So for example, this synapses or, or synapse no glove and the ponder shard which is actually quite useful to reset our mind tree our talent tree if we want to try a different spec for example because right now i'm playing with fear damage we could also change the mind tree to do melee damage um, pain damage which is the third damage type next to grief and yeah so pain damage we all went through it at some point. Well, next room, I'm concealed again because I didn't spend more than five action points and now I can. But actually, yeah, I will hit him. Since once you kill a mob, uh, a grudge, emptiness engine, um, another grudge, for example, or reclusion, since my English is not that good, I don't know what it means right now, but <laughs> Google might help me later on. Since once we kill one of them, we regain one action point. I hit him with two action points, but still have eight, because whenever an entity dies from fear damage, your coolants, or no, not that one. Anyway, I have a mind tree skill that will give me one more action point when I kill an enemy with a ranged attack, meaning I'm not adjacent to him, but just hit killing him from the range area. And now I'm out of action points in a second. But what I can do is move with the dash ability into this force field because the next damage will be rendered useless anyway. 
I haven't explained what I'm constantly doing. I'm setting up totem, a fear rod, which you can also choose what they will do. For example, misclicked. For example, I use this totem to constantly heal myself if I'm close to it. But since my HP is at a hundred percent, I'm not needed to be close to the totem. Okay, and now we have here the last enemy, the reclusion. Since he is standing in a force field, I can't really do anything, but I can complete the objective because now we have five memories preserved and I can move out of the transposition since it was successful. And this is a basic level of the game. So if we would have explored a bit more, cleared a bit more rooms, we would have gained insight. But anyway, I received a level up, gained a couple of currencies, the ponder shard we bought from the tradesman. And now we can pick one of the rewards since this catalyst is quite useful. I will pick him and we'll receive a couple of reputation points which means the higher our reputation is, the more patience or the more rarer the patience will be and the rewards will be better. So the next day, now we could use the currency we have here to buy something from the shopkeeper, shopkeeper, the dealer, kind of on the nose name, dealer. We received one skill point, one mind point, learning point for the mind tree. I will pick it right here. And the equipment, no, we didn't get anything new as well as no new skills. But just because we're already here, I will show you quickly how it is done to pick up or to do one skill. I will first pick the form, meaning the range or the area where it will hit, where the spell will be activated. Could also use an automaton. I don't know, the smaller cousin of Autobots probably. And what a bad joke. Anyway, this one would be an ally, which will shoot constantly. So what should he shoot with? He could deal pain damage or he could do fear damage deals 40 to 62 fear damage and the last one would be what the action point cost will be as well as the cooldown meaning if we pick this one the fear ranger would be crafted summons a ranger to fight at your side for four turns it will spend four ap to cast discharge meaning it deals 30 to 46 fear damage i will forge it and equip it and now we have the punch telekinesis to push guys away two dashes a couple of damage skills healing skills and so on so that's basically how the game wantless works we would pick another patient now move up and there's also a story progression and i won't go too deep into this so that's basically how the game works i hope if you enjoyed it, give it a try if you liked it and thanks for watching and have a great day or evening.